Einstein said that essentially for something to exist it must be moving. So every single thing in this universe is moving. The interesting thing is that all of that movement in nature has a particular spiraling path. Nature never ever moves in a straight line, no such thing. So that is nature's streamlining principle. When I froze the whirlpool that you see in your bathtub, you pull the plug out, there's the whirlpool. If you freeze that whirlpool, it's exactly the same geometry as a hurricane or a tornado or any other spiral, a cochlear of your ear. This shape is archetypal in nature. And so when I froze this, I was then able to rotate it and create. Because I had a frozen whirlpool, I was able to create a whirlpool. So one of the first things that I used it on, uh, particularly in America, there are great big holding tanks. Well, that water gets stagnant. The municipalities that manage that water have to put chlorine and, and chloramines into the water. The problem is better solved by mixing that water. Generally throughout the world, if you want to mix water, it's very expensive. I put one of these frozen whirlpools in the bottom of one of these tanks. Six inches high, four inches wide, and I rotated it with a couple of hundred watts of power, a couple of light bulbs of power, and I found it was able to mix an entire tank of water, 10 million gallons, which from an engineering point of view is not even conceivably possible. So from there, I started adapting these shapes into fans. Fans use 18% of the world's electrical energy. They're not terribly efficient. We found time and time again, we could take the best fan in the world and reduce its energy by as much as 30%. So pretty much everything in an industrial world can be improved by taking these shapes from nature and reconfiguring what engineers build today.